the seven most underrated reasons why Caspa is headed straight for the top five market cap listing this 2025 bull market. This video is based on the 24 point checklist, how to vet any cryptocurrency system that helped us not only go all in on Caspa this summer when it was at two cents, but we found a few other crypto picks that had massive upside gains and zero coverage on social media. This should give you a slight adjustment in your perception of what's behind the scenes with the entire crypto market. Number seven directly off of this list is the growth of crypto wallets. Here's what we mean. Elon Musk right now is working on turning Twitter into a crypto wallet. Over in China, cash is gone. You want to buy anything, you're scanning a QRL code and you're using your cell phone. And we would think the United States has got to be the leader of the world, right? The rest of the world is going to catch up to this. This is actually wrong, which is why it's such a huge opening for any new company. Actually, when you go over to a third world country, you have to use a mobile phone per payment. There's no banks for a day's drive. There's no ATM. If you want to put gas in your car or overseas, it would end up being a moped. You need to have a cell phone. And Caspa is working in areas all over the globe exactly like this. The Caspium wallet, which is a wallet specifically made for Caspa payments, actually translates into 28 different languages of third world countries like Ukraine, where these mobile payment systems are insanely prominent. While we're on the topic, there's companies picking up billion dollar market caps, regular like stock type companies, just coming on the scene and blowing up like Poland's Bilk, which is a mobile wallet payment company. Changely and Chiange are teaming up with Tangium. This just happened a few days ago all over and they're getting ready to integrate this into social media. This is going to be a huge driver for Caspa because its use case is payment systems. So the more wallets something can have on it, the more use it gets, the more bullish it is. This is playing right into Caspa. The number two reason is there's actually a coding war happening right now in all of crypto. You see, when crypto was first coming around, they had to hire the best and brightest minds around to do this. In order to get a weapon as sharp as a trained coding mind, you're going to have to pay money for people to train you just like a UFC fighter. These guys all had to go to school for coding and the languages that they learned weren't necessarily getting the best products for crypto. In fact, Rust, which right now Salon is running on and Casp is getting rewritten on, Rust is renowned for making the absolute best products. But this is the catch. Back in you know the 2010s, 2015, 16, when all of the major big dog projects were getting built, all of the coders were really good at this language called Solidity, which did not make as good of a product as Rust. But it's not like they're going to spend all this money to learn how to code blockchain because nobody knew if it was actually going to work yet. It wasn't exactly like a career path you would want to invest a quarter million dollar education into. Now that crypto is what it is, it has the strength of being on CNBC and all the financial channels. Yes, now everything's going to start moving over into Rust because the product is so much better. Caspa is just finishing their transfer to Rust as we speak right now. Which brings us to reason number five. Once this rewrite is done, there's going to be new ASICs, which is going to send the hash rate absolutely jumping to the moon. You guys remember during this recent scare, right after the ETF news, all of the people that were predicting, oh, it's going to crash after the ETF. It's buy the rumors, sell the news. Remember, everybody in the comment sections on this channel, you guys were like, Caspa's going to seven cents, even lower. Meanwhile, we were saying indefinitely, with no doubt, it was going to be 10 cents. We would have a 24 hour dip to 9.5. That was the call out that we made. Spare me the edit. The reason is, you guys remember in Dune, when the Duke Harton and that giant guy just took the planet back, they started selling their spice reserves, but not too fast because he didn't want to crash the price. These miners had to offload tons of Caspa. 
because testnet 11 is about to go mainnet. Casp is going to go from one block per second to 10, which is now going to allow Bitmain and Ice River to make faster miners. Casp is much different than Bitcoin because the emission schedule is way faster. Bitcoin's happening every four years. These Caspa miners make specifically less money. Remember how much they were making at first? You were like, wow, I got to get one of those K1s. They're making like 3,000 bucks a day. There's going to be an entirely new batch, which is going to go through the exact same mathematical equation. It's called price discovery. We already covered that on this channel back when the ASICs were about to launch. It all started with son of a tech thought that Caspa was a bit main scheme. And once they went online, it would crash the price. We actually went over the historics of rising hash rate is always leading to a higher price and the price discovery of new monster ASICs coming on deck. That's going to be happening very soon. Number four is the team if Caspa is led by Jonathan Saplinski, and he is the man who started this entire crypto party. He is Satoshi, keeping his identity secret because an idea is more powerful than a man. Not to get into V to Vendetta, I will leave a link to the entire video with every single clue that we have gathered proving that Jonathan is in fact Satoshi, the man who started Bitcoin in the comment section of this video. My favorite clue of all, they actually captured the Unabomber because he was such an educated man when he sent his manifesto into the New York Times to get published. They actually refused to print it, but Penthouse magazine did. And of course, the FBI went scrolling through this letter because he was so smart. They were able to find ways and styles that he did his writing. We did this exact same comparison with all the super old school Bitcoin message boards. Back when it was just getting started, they were like paying for that pizza with it and stuff. Of Satoshi's writing style compared to Jonathan Saplinski's writing style of a day, and we list every match. And that brings us to our number three reason, Polychain Capital. There have been some other creators that have gotten onto this. You guys remember Carlson Coin, the fork of Caspa? This is actually nicknamed after the CEO of Polychain Capital. The man's name is Olson Carlson. He is like the Kaiser Solze of crypto. He used to be a Coinbase executive. He was the head of risk, a lot like the Eric Dale character from that movie Margin Call. Super smart guy. He actually then left Coinbase to open Polychain Capital. But here's the catch. Polychain Capital and Coinbase share investments all the time. So you can kind of say that Polychain Capital is actually Coinbase off the books, taking their more high risk stuff. Remember how the SEC was just jumping over all of crypto. They keep this stuff probably off the United States out of the reach of these tyrants like Gary Gensler and Elizabeth Warren. It's a known fact that everything Polychain Capital touches is absolute gold. We actually gave that call out for Tia at $5. One of the main reasons is it was a Polychain Capital listing. Zetrix with another one of our call outs that we made at $5. And look at how Zetrix has tripled up. The weird thing about it is the price actually never goes down because Zetrix is partnered with the Chinese communist government. We actually ran some new searches using one of our steps from the 24 point checklist. We have a list of the 30 best performing VCs. Of course, Polychain Capital is one of the leading ones. Found out everything they've listed over the past year. And we actually got a couple of matches from some popular projects that people are talking about right now. One of them being Heroes of Mavia. We did another list for all of the ZK roll-up projects. We just did a video on ZK Snarks. Out of both lists, two of these projects were under 10 million market cap, and one of the micro projects has already doubled up. Polychain Capital holds all the keys specifically to our number two reason, the tier one listings haven't even stepped up yet. A lot like BlackRock just did with Bitcoin. First, they seed funded their ETF, and then all of a sudden, 
Coinbase is now offering futures for Bitcoin. Of course, you know, BlackRock is pulling all the strings. Everybody goes long on buy the rumor news with leverage on Bitcoin. And the way this works out, what a gamma squeeze is. You guys have all heard of a short squeeze like the GameStop deal. Gamma squeeze is just the opposite. Every 24 hours, the market makers have to settle up that position for the amount of Bitcoin or whatever coin you're trading that you've won. So they keep buying more and then more people get interested and then they keep settling. This creates a gamma squeeze, which is what we just saw for Bitcoin once they listed the Bitcoin futures on Coinbase just a few months before the ETF launch. This is destined to happen to Caspa, which is bringing us to our number one reason. Caspa has been secretly working their tail off in Africa, and the African governments are looking to switch all of their citizens' mobile payment systems off of fiat and into crypto. And we can prove this with this IMF document right here. We actually have a link to this document posted in our Discord. You can get the information down below in the description. It says how every single citizen, like 90% of all the people in Africa have a mobile payment system. And then they get into details talking about El Salvador's transfer to cryptocurrency. And they start working over the pros and cons of switching from regular mobile fiat into cryptocurrency. Right now, Caspa has the ambassador program and what they're spending their money on is finding, for example, a gold mine or a lumber yard, which has an entire, you guys have heard of mining towns like Nevada and Reno. They're originally towns built around a mine. Caspa's looking to make connections with large economic leaders of areas like that. That way, once the workers are getting paid in Caspa, they're transferring the goods in Caspa. All the local entrepreneurs around are accepting Caspa as payment. Of course, that gold mine, that lumber mill is also probably owned by China. And now they've got Caspa too. And this is giving them a foot in the door. A lot like MySpace versus Facebook. MySpace was huge. Everybody had a profile. Jeffree Star had like 10 million followers already on MySpace. How did Facebook do it? They got their foot in the door using their Ivy League schools. And this is what Africa is for Caspa. They're going to get their foot in the door with the mining towns. Through the ambassador program, there's a lot of connections between Africa and China and other power players in the world. This is going to help Caspa build up their network strength and eventually have worldwide adoption. That's the plan, Stan. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. If you want to get more spin on your game, we're not trying to package up a get rich quick. We know the answers to everything we have proven. Over the past 200 days of upload, we turned $12,500 into I've got a $300,000 bag today. We have loads of insight. This would normally be a $300 package. We've got cup and handle, double top, ascending triangle. You get printouts, including the 24 point checklist. You get an Excel spreadsheet with all the patterns, all their statistical performance stats. We don't do any back testing. It's all from flashbacks where we're like, okay, this is an ascending triangle. Statistically, it's going to do this. We know it's going to jump up and we can just prove that this techniques and these styles actually work. If you guys are looking to finally start diversifying out of Caspa like myself, total Caspa Maxi, we're starting to run searches right now. And our technique, which is way different from what everybody else is doing, we're actually getting some matches with like Alex Becker. And we had one with Archie with this games of, or heroes of Mavia. There's like a big gaming thing. Of course, if we would have ran this search a few weeks ago, we would have been able to jump on it quicker this can definitely help you guys we have a load of tools so you can check and make sure the team and the vc investors aren't getting paid until 2025 this means they're going to spend a lot more of their budget on beeping the price up so that they can get a bigger piece once their tokens are finally unlocked we've got all this put it on your fingertips i think it's definitely gonna pay for itself right away check it out when you get the time We'll catch you on the next one.